Okay, we don't want to get too close to the crocodile. Like that, for example. John, how much is this axe? Oh, that's a basic axe. I know. How much is it? It chops down trees and plants. I know. I just want to buy it. Hey, John, how we doing, buddy? You like cooked lime? Hey, grab one off the ground there. Help yourself. All right, I got plenty to go around. Good day, mates, and welcome to Dinkum out on Steam Early Access. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And this game is made by a fella from Australia, James Benden. And James was kind enough to send me a code to play the game and share it with you here. One day before it goes live on Steam, which is July 14th, 2022. I'm recording this on the 13th, one day prior. So it should be available by the time you watch this video. So yeah, check it out. Link down below in the description. Uh, to Dinkum, and this is a, uh, a life sim, farming sim type thing, like uh, Animal Crossing slash Stardew Valley, but un uh, unlike those games where you have an established town already, we have to set sail to an island, or at least we fly in, I think, and um, establish our own town uh, and build it up from uh, nothing to something. So we will survive at first and then thrive, and it will attract new people to come to our island and live with us and uh, share all the good life here in paradise so uh, it is single player and also a multiplayer co-op i think up to four players um in one game so you can join your friends and and play together which is pretty cool so today my friends we're just going to play solo i'm going to jump in and show you a game and uh, we'll get started on it anyway and if it's something that you like again the link is down below so check it out it will be out on the july again on july 14th i think it's going to be 20 20 clams as far as i know but don't quote me on that i'm not exactly sure and now we get to create a character it had my old character name and island name in there already look at that so let's go ahead and change my look because that doesn't look anything like me let's try to look like me at least when i was young and i had a lot of hair uh let's make it dark <laughs> and let's check the eyes here i don't like those yellow eyes they're kind of uh cat like and scary uh there we go looking good kid how about how about a smile put a smile on that face there we go turn that frown upside down we got freckly face, we have the smirky face. I like the smirky face, to be honest. And how about, that nose is a little too buttony. I like, that. there we go, yeah, long nose. And how about, um, oh, he likes that blue shirt. Yellow shirt, he likes all the shirts, don't you? How about the black shirt? Yes, okay, let's go with the black shirt. <laughs> blue pants, no shoes, fine. And I think we are ready to rock and roll. This is Punchwood, Punchwood Island. I actually put that in uh, previously, so it remembered, and away we go. A long time ago, everything went south. Almost everybody was forced to move to South City. The people of South City live cold and miserable lives. You were born here. Most people have no desire to leave. But you do, more than anything. And you might have found a way out. Help wanted. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany me to my old home, Punchwood Isle. Voyage and accommodation will be your initial compensation. Am anyone interested? Meh. Fletch. There she is. Our secret savior. You leave for Punchwood Isle today. All right, let's pack up and go. I'm gonna get out of this cold, snowy, dreary place. There we go, lift off. Woohoo! Bye bye, South City. Nice to know ya. Ooh, here we are. We're now flying over Punchwood Island. It will be landing shortly. All passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. So this is our island. It's all procedurally generated. It's got multiple biomes, all kinds of critters, different flora, different fauna. And here's Fletch, our granny savior. Looks like we've landed. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you've decided to accompany me on this adventure, Punchwood. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. She finds that very mirthful. Oh dear, look at old flesh waffle on. Let's get cracking, Punchwood. I'll see you outside, okay? Yes, it's a little tight in here. She's a close talker. All right, let's get outside and go see Granny. I mean, uh, Fletch. How we doing, Fletch? I love it here already. Wow, smell that fresh air. 
I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Punchwood Isle. Now, Punchwood, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent. Take your time and find a good place for it. It'll be like our own town hub. Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Punchwood Isle for a very long time, but I think I can still be helpful. Oh, she's blushing. I'll be waiting by this dock until you set up the base tent. So if you get lost, just check your map to find the dock again. Good luck, Punchwood. Thanks, Granny. Base tent. It's a base of operations. Island map. Pins can be placed on it to mark points of interest. Excellent. All right. Um, right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, I'll go this way then. <laughs> Onto the island. All right, we got to move some things around, get rid of the tips up there. There we go. Yeah, so obviously we can move our character independently of the uh, camera. Very nice. Open our pockets. We start with 250 dink. This is money. We got a black shirt. Okay, and blue shorts, right? And we have our uh, quick bar, quick bar, quick butt bar down there. And we got shells, we have water, and we got fish and sharks, and dingoes. It's the bush. It's Australia, right? All right. Um, let's set up base camp, ma'am. Where would you like to be? Have base camp? I think she'd like her feet in the sand, don't you think? It's lovely. Um, by the way, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's day one of some er, I guess, and uh, time is not passing while we do this although the critters are still running around doing stuff uh oh big tower great um yeah let's let's plan this out since this is going to be our new home um i'm thinking granny would like to have her feet in the sand toes in the sand and all that on those little wrinkly old feet and i'm going to put my place up here i think up on the hill um and we can spread the town around on the sand yeah it's going to be a paradise it's going to be a paradise indeed although what is over here what oh flies Okay, wait a second. I might, I might, uh, I'm changing plans. Um, I might put my house here on top of that little hill and then put Granny over here. Um, let's do that. Can I pick this stuff up? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm carrying this thing. Yes, I can. Okay. Excellent. Let's clear out the beach so Granny doesn't step on a uh, sharp shell and cut her feet. And we're going to put her tent um, facing. No, let's just put it right here. I think we can move this stuff around later, anyways. It doesn't really matter. All right, we're now in the build camera. Someone's in the way. <laughs> hey, kid, get out of the way. <laughs> Can't put the thing down. There we go. Is this a good place for the base tent? Of course. And, oh, sheesh, don't sneak up on me like that, Fletch. So, this is where you decided to build, huh? Yep. It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Punchwood Isle. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you, too. I know it's not much, but it will be a place you can call home. Now, there is plenty of room to spread out here on Punchwood Isle. So please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit. So keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you've placed your tent. Okay, thanks, Granny. All right, she gave us our own tent. And now we are going to be close together and doing a lot of work together. So we don't want to be too far away. I don't want to be on the sand, though. I mean, I will visit the beach when I want to visit the beach. But I'm going to put my tent up here. Um, wait. I kind of do want to be relatively close to the water because I know you can make boats and things like that. And I want to have a dock out back. And maybe a bridge to that other island. Uh, I know I'm getting so picky. I'm so picky. Let's just plop it down. Get that. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Oh, and knocked the tree down. That's okay. We don't need that tree. Anyways. Oh, we have a mailbox. Any mail? I mean, we just got here. Don't expect anybody would have sent us any mail. Let's go inside and check it out. There's not much here. All right. Well, we can decorate. Beat it, bird. Ooh, let's pick up some wood. Let's go see Granny. Yeah, let's drop the wood. All right. Hi, Granny. You found a good place for your tent? I sure did. I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader John? Uh, no, have, I have not. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in visiting his, with his shop here. I reckon we'll get this visiting site deed ready for him. That way we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Punchwood Isle. Who knows, maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to me once you have placed the visiting site deed. 
All right, we got a visiting site deed, and this is how you set up new locations. You get a deed. Um, in fact, we you gonna show me the deeds? Uh, oh, yeah. no, I'm still looking. Hold on. Okay, all right, all right, we'll come back. We'll come back. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, and I, I have already played this game for about I've sunk maybe six or seven hours into it. <laughs> so I've done all this already. So what we need to do now is put the visitors site down. We can just plop that down right here to be nice next to our our camp. And we can come by and visit at any time. Um, visitors will always start here. There we go. Right here. Looks perfect. So John is going to come and visit first. He's the trader. And then we can, uh, we can start trading right away with him. But first, let's talk to Fletch. So, we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, Punchwood. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Punchwood Isle, you know? He loved doing new things and keeping track of all this, his milestones in his adventurer's journal. Please, I want you to take this adventurer's journal. Please keep good care of it. This is your adventure now. Ha! Huh? Adventure's journal, Fletch's father's journal. Excellent, it's all our milestones that we can keep track of. There's all kinds of things to do and collect and achieve. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I think you'll find that you'll, you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. Be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. You go and find us some fruit. And when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Uh, I know how to make fire. But, okay, I will entertain the old lady. <laughs> Let's check out our journal, which is the bouncing book there on the left. Hit escape. And here's our daily milestones. These are random. They change every day, obviously. And if you complete them before you go to bed, uh, then you get these permit points. And the permit points are stored up here. And uh, we use permit points to buy licenses and things like that for progression. Um, our milestones. We've completed two milestones already. We're a camper. Excellent. And there's our first permit points. 100. And let's go check out the other one. And we also are an explorer. And grab our permit points. Excellent. We also have tasks here, obviously. Uh, this is the one that um, Fletch just gave us. We have a Pedia. All the different things that we can collect and meet in the world. And then people, when they come in and visit, um, visitors can eventually become permanent residents. Uh, here's our ID and my licenses. I don't have any licenses right now. Photos, aminals, etc. All right. Um, what are we doing? Yes, yeah, go get something to eat. Hey, can I eat you? Stop rubbing your butt all over Grandma's sand. <laughs> hey, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> all right food here's some food that we can harvest right off the trees these are bush limes snag them and eat them just like that mm -mm -mm. Uh, wait do i have to bring something to fletch no just find it and eat it all right excellent now we go back to talk to fletch <laughs> so in the beginning here there's a lot of running back and forth to grandma and she's going to teach us some things um, these are dingoes, right? I think so. Yep, look at them. They just love rubbing their butts all over the sand. <sighs> Dank dogs. Uh, oh, I do have to bring her some. <laughs> Hold on. I, I ate all three of those limes. We need to go find some more limes. Here we go. Yeah, so you do have a daily uh, stamina pool. And that is up on the top left. That's the energy bar there. And it'll go down as you do activities, but you can eat food to um, replenish. All right, we're back, and I have you something to eat. Eating food will help keep your energy up. Here's the recipe for a campfire. Feel free to use the crafting table in the base tent to craft a campfire. Take your time, Punchwood. When you are done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. Oh, mysterious. Rock. Cool. <laughs> New crafting recipe. Campfire. Fire you can use while camping. Mm-hmm. And here's our uh, crafting table. We can actually make one of these if we want one in our own tent or somewhere in a, another area. And here's our campfire, which we can go ahead and craft up right now. I had picked up those gummy logs off the ground. Um, so far, we don't have very many recipes, but this will expand as we learn new things and gain new licenses uh, and so forth. So, yeah, not much to do yet. All right, we have done that. Uh, let's go place our campfire. Let's go put our campfire right near our tent. I think it would be nice. Maybe we can put it right out front. Right here. Plop. Excellent. We can pick that back up easily enough too, which is super duper nice. 
Um, by the way, we can cook on this too. Well, don't get in it though, because you will catch on fire. <laughs> and the cooked food is actually better than the raw food. It gives you uh, extra um, health and stamina. Pick that up off the ground. Three second roll. Got it. Yeah, see, so two and four and three and six. So it's twice as good, according to my calculations. <clears throat> oh, poop. Hold on. Let's throw that poop. Poop's fun. I don't know what we do with it, but you just carry it around. And I put it in a box, save it for later. It's probably going to come into play <laughs> at some point. All right, we have no current tasks. So let's just uh, wander around and do some things. Um, I guess we can go back and see Granny over here. And see if she has something for us. She, she did say she had a present, right? I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Punchman. Here's a gift for helping me out so much. It's a bug net. Maybe you could go catch some bugs around here. Or maybe you could cook some of that fruit you found. Uh, so we can either go to bed or I can figure something out to do. Um, why don't we just go to bed because that will save the game. You can only save when you sleep, which I'm not a big fan of, but uh, that's how Stardew was. And that's how it is here. So let's go ahead and I think I will go to bed and I'll have a whole new day tomorrow. I'm tired too. <laughs> here, take the sleeping bag. If you are tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I can't believe we're on Punchwood Isle. I couldn't have done any of this without you. No, you couldn't. Bugnet, catch creepy crawlers. And a sleeping bag. So we can make a sleeping bag and uh, bring it with us on the go, too, if we get caught out in the world somewhere. Because it's a pretty big place, so we can go out and explore. Here's our map. That's the island. Um, there are different biomes out there with different flora and fauna in each. Better pick that up. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Oop. Let me in. All right, let's put our bag down here. I'm going to go to the build camera, which makes it a little easier for moving this stuff around. And plop that down in the corner. And I think I'm going to hop in right now. R&R. Place a sleeping bag and get some rest. All right, let's do it. Let's lay down. Call it a day. Sleep until tomorrow. Or just rest my eyes. I wish this would save too, but it doesn't. I'm not really sure what it does. Maybe just return some energy. Um, but yeah, let's sleep till tomorrow and uh, start fresh. Good night. <laughs> Here endeth year oneth, Sunday oneth in summer. And our foraging went up a little bit. Excellent. Game saved. Oh, 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 someone's visiting the island. Let's go see who it is. It must be John the Trader. Where is he at? Oh, he's over here. I made a platform for him. Uh, visitor site. Yes, open eight to four. Oh, not open yet. Well, I guess your sign's not right. <laughs> your sign said eight. Are you open? This is John, by the way. Say hi. Hello, John. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you must be Punchwood. Fletch told me you're the one to thank for getting this place all set up for me. Yes, I am. Thanks for that. I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Take a look at my wares and feel free to ask me about anything you're interested in. Now, I make most of my dinks selling exotic items back to the South City. Yes, I find the word dinks very funny, too. <laughs> I guess you could say exotic means any of the items found here in Punchwood Isle. So if you find anything, and I do mean anything, you don't want, please drop by and show me. I'll offer you a great price for it. All right, he's got all kinds of goodies here. We only have 250 dinks at the moment, so I can't afford any of this stuff, John. Uh, I'll go out and get stuff then, okay? Bye. All right, now let's go talk to Fletch. Our first visitor is here. This is very exciting. <laughs> Fletch, John's here. Ah, good morning, Punchwood. Did you happen to see that John has set up his tent at the visitor site? Uh, I just said that. Do you need new hearing aids? <laughs> I told them all about you and how you helped us get started here. John trades all sorts of things back to South City. I reckon nearly anything you can find on the island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, even rocks. John also sells a lot of useful tools. Although, probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have all your licenses in order. You know about licenses, right? Yes, I do. And I will explain them to you momentarily. <laughs> That's great. I'll tell you what. You didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. But these days, you need a license for everything. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. Oh, how fortunate. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them. But if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough in no time. Now, let's see if there's a license you can apply for right now. 
Excellent. All right. Yes, here's all the licenses. We can apply for one license at the moment. And I'm thinking uh, we'll do chop down the trees. Yes, I want the logging license, please. Thank you. Logging license level one. All right. Here's all the licenses that we start out with. Uh, like I said, there are vehicles. I know there's a rowboat and there's some kind of land vehicle. But I never got that far in my other playthrough. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do right now is collect some shells and bugs and uh, some fruits and veggies and other things around here, flowers, and sell them to John. and start making some cash. And we can buy an axe and a pickaxe. Uh, what is the buggy? Grab him! Got him! I caught a blue moon butterfly. Beautiful. And while we're out here, we might as well forage some chow. Uh, oh, by the way, we did something. What do we do? Shell yeah! Okay, we get more um, permit points. Excellent. So these sell really well. These little yellow flowers. Oh, it's a crocodile. Okay, we don't want to get too close to the crocodile. Like that, for example. All right, well, they're not too fast. We can outrun them. <laughs> Got the whole day ahead of us, folks. It's only 9.30 here in the bush. So there was another settlement here back in the olden days, and we will be able to find some of the remnants of said uh, civilization in the form of junk lying around, like there are old barrels that you can beat on, and you find like old tech, like gears and wires and circuit boards, and these can be used in recipes and also um, to repair some things around the island. There's a there's a big like radio tower that we have to repair. So yeah, we, we will be playing a lot of this. I'm really enjoying this game. Like I said, I played about maybe six hours, six or seven hours before I started recording. And uh, it's, it's really addicting. I just can't stop playing. I'm having so much fun. Well, let's check our daily thing here. Harvest 15 bush limes. We can do that. Bury three fruit. We can't do that until we get a shovel. Travel a thousand meters on foot. Did we do that yet? Oh, we did. We just did that one. Okay, so we gained... Uh, 50 permit points um, Here's our ores. We got some uh, iron But we can't mine it yet until we get our pickaxe Oh more room poo pick it up. I know that's gonna be used for something at some point probably some kind of fertilizer or something Oh, Something just happened. What did we what did we do? What did I do now? Oh, I'm a harvest master. We picked up a bunch of fruit and logs. Yes, we did All right we're almost at a point where we can buy more, um, another license, right? We need 250 permit points, and we can license up and maybe mining. Oh, here's that tower I was telling you about. Let's go check it out. Yeah, whoa, 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 don't get too close. It still has power. So if we open this up and look inside, we can see that things are broken. Things are missing. So we can place items here. Uh, shiny disc, bright wire, and smooth slate. And again, that stuff can be found on the island. And old barrels and things. Oh, somebody got at here. Or killed, but they didn't eat the whole thing. Buggy, get him! No, no, the bug! Got him. Blue moon butterfly. Um, there's a metal detector, too, that you can eventually get. And you can find... Oh, there's a barrel right there. <laughs> yeah, and you can find, um, buried treasure as well but i can't get anything out of here until i make a until i buy a pickaxe need a pickaxe to bust that up but that'll have like gears and wires and old technology left behind from the old civilization that was here before it became punchwood isle all right let's go and sell oh i still have to find a couple more green limes let's just go get the limes first well gonna cross the river find the last couple of limes for this daily chore here we go all right chore <laughs> it's not a chore it's fun i do find that the grind in this game and there is a grind and you'll see that uh, as we play especially when it comes to building and buying uh the new deeds because they're very expensive like you know fifty thousand, seventy thousand dinks and uh it takes a while to make that kind of money yeah, there, there's definitely a grind, but it's a fun grind. It's part of the game. All right, John, I'm back. We're back. We want to sell you some stuff, bro. All right, so we have a bunch of shells. We can just 
select them all here in the uh, in the inventory. We're gonna keep the bones. I think we can use those for something later. And, oh yeah, and all these waddle flowers. All right, how much is all that worth? Let's see. All up, I can offer you nine thousand one hundred and forty-one dinks. Sounds good. <laughs> see. Thank you for visiting John's Goods. Yeah, see? So he exports them back to South City, where they love this stuff. Shells and flowers, because they don't get them there. It's just all snow and uh, brick and mortar. Um, now, let's buy... Oh, we need an axe, right? Because I have the license. John, how much is this axe? Oh, that's a basic axe. I know. How much is it? It chops down trees and plants. I know. I just want to buy it. I'll take it. A thousand. All right. It's mine. Thank you. All right, excellent. I think I'm gonna buy this basic pickaxe too, okay? Oh, that's a basic pickaxe. Unfortunately, I can't sell you this until you have a mining license. Oh, all right, welcome back. Bye-bye. Let's go buy a mining license. It's not a problem. Granny, need a mining license. Oh, punch it. I almost forgot. I noticed John is selling a table saw. I think we should try and make enough money to buy a table saw from John. Here is my half of the dinks. The rest is up to you. Oh, she's going to give me some dinks. 2,500 dinks. This is money. All right, thanks. Also, I need a license for mining. Let's see. Mining license. 250. We have enough. Fantastic. Now we can go buy a pickaxe. Thanks, Granny. See you later. Okay, let's go get our mining license. I mean, uh, our... Whoa, get that guy. Harlequin butterfly. Right our friend John's. Hey, John, we're back. I want to sell you a butterfly. Oh, all these shells down here in my hot bar, too. <laughs> and, and that one there. All right. Wow. Excellent. Another 2300 Very, very good. Now, now that we have our license, can I buy this basic pickaxe? Smash rocks and ores. No kidding. I just want to buy it. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Here's the table saw. It's 5200 We can buy that. Hey, John, I want this table saw. It can cut wood into planks. I know. John, just take my money. Thank you. Excellent. Goodbye. All right. Let's put our table saw down. So let's decide where we're going to do all the crafting and so forth. We can do it here on the beach. Seems like a nice place. Let's just put this right here. I'm going to plop it down, put the logs in the hand, walk up, and then left click. And you basically put a log on the table saw. And it cuts it into a plank. Isn't that amazing? Of course, it only takes one at a time, so this is uh, its a bit of work. But sooner or later, my guess is we will be able to automate this kind of thing. And we'll pick up that bag. Seven gumwood planks. Amazing. Um, all right, let's check our book here. We have something. Shellfish Lover. That's for selling the shells. There we go. Almost enough for a new, uh, for a new license. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Entrepreneur. Making that bread. We made some cold, hard cash. Hello, we bought the table saw. Oh, so you bought the table saw. Uh, I just said that. Well done, Punchwood. Don't you think having John here is great? If only we could convince John to move here permanently. Well, let's worry about getting the materials needed for a permanent building first. I've got another job for you, Punchwood. You up for it? I'm ready. But if we're going to convince people to stay here in Punchwood, Iowa, we've got to start building more permanent structures. Now, I'll need you to bring me some items. We'll need one campfire, three stone, ten tin ore. Once you've gathered everything we need, come and see me. Okay, Granny. Got you covered. All right, well, we have a pickaxe, and we saw some ores out here. What time is it? 3.40 in the afternoon. I think we have some time to bang on some rocks. Uh, we do have a little bit of food here. Let's put this over here. In case we get tired. In fact, it's a good idea to keep your belly full. That's the little circle next to your energy bar. Because that will increase your stamina as you just, you know, walk around and do things. So it's good to have food in the old belly. There's some more rupu. Whoop, missed it. Stepped in it. Ew. With bare feet. Pretty gross. Oh, there's that barrel. Should we go whack in the barrel? Let's go whack in the barrel and then we we'll get some tin. So, Granny's going to have us make um, a forge, I think. So, that's uh, that's what we're, we're after at this point. What's down there? We got an old gear. We got an old wheel. We got slate. Look at all that stuff. So, that slate can go into the uh, into that big antenna thing, wherever the heck that was. We'll go track it down later. Um, all right, let's go find the tin. 
There's some tin right here. We need a total of 10, and we need three stones as well. So yeah, this is going to take some energy. You can see our stamina bar going down there with every whack. But like I said, we can eat and replenish that easily enough. There is plenty of food on the island. In my first playthrough, I didn't have very much trouble keeping my energy bar up. Although the better foods later on down the road when you have like a cooking table um, will give you extra buffs like combat buffs, movement buffs, that kind of thing. Uh, Alright, we now have 12 tin ore. That's enough. And now we need 3 stones. I'm not going to get the copper right now. I'm going to save my energy. Just get some rocks. Alright, 3 stones. I'm going to bring up the map, and I'm going to click on our home, and that puts it up on our little radar so we know which direction we're going. Well, John is closed right now, so we can't sell anything to him. And, and when they close, even though he's just a visitor, he still just mills around uh, the island. Hi, John. How you doing? Hope you had a nice first day. Really appreciate you showing up. And uh, Fletch is out here walking around, too. But we do, do we need her? Oh, yes, we do. Wait a minute. Hey, come back. Slow it down. <laughs> Punchwood, how is the search going? Have you found all those items we need? Yes, I think so. Hang on a sec. What am I missing? Uh, oh, I need to make the campfire first. <laughs> My bad. Hang on, Granny. Don't wander off too far. Make a campfire here. Oh, wait. That means I need six stones. Oh, drat. Uh, math. I'll be right back. Don't go away. I love how they're just chatting. The only two other people on the island. <laughs> Oh, oh, getting tired. Hold on. Let's let's eat the cooked bush slime. Fill up that gut. Oh, there we go. Lots of stones in this big old rock here. Okay, we've got all of the necessary materials. Let's go back and see Granny. Hey, Granny. We've got everything. Well done, Punchwood. I knew I could count on you to find everything we need. Here is a recipe for a crude furnace. Bring me the tin bar when you're ready, okay? Okie dokie, there's our crude furnace recipe. Awesome. All right, let's go and whip up a crude furnace. It's from, we had all the stuff there that we just collected. And okay, we got our crude furnace, we can start smelting. So let's put that down by the table saw. We're gonna need to make some crates here for storage very, very soon. All right, that is facing out. Excellent. Now, um, we got some tin ore here. I think it's five per bar. You know, walk up. You insert it. It's got a lovely glow. Look at that glow. A little smoke popping out the top there. Beautiful, beautiful game. Really does look nice. What's up, John? John, I don't think you should be over here in Stonehenge like this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you consulting the bones, John? What do they say? Um, I think our tin is done. Let's throw this one in there, too. All right, let's go see. Hey, hey, you're not Granny. Where's Granny? Granny! Well done, Punchwood. You have proven yourself invaluable once again. <laughs> yes, I know. You're really starting to carry a lot of stuff around. I'll tell you what. I'll teach you how to craft a wooden crate. You're going to need a recipe for nails, too. I'll tell you what. Punchwood Isle is well on its way to being a great settlement again. With a furnace and a table saw, we can start thinking about building more permanent structures. I'll tell you what. We should try to get John to set up a real shop here. Let's do it. That's the spirit, Punchwood. I reckon if we spend a bit of money at his tent, he'll see it's worthwhile. Oh. And we should show him how friendly people are around here. <laughs> all, all the people around here. <laughs> Why don't you ask John if he has anything he needs done? If we can prove to him that Punchwood Isle is a great place to move, I'm sure he'll ask to live here for good. I think you're right, Granny. And there's our nail recipe and our wooden crate recipe. Thank goodness we can now get a crate out and um, dump out some of our inventory. All right. Um, yeah, so we can do jo uh, jobs for the uh, for John here and get one shot per day and if you complete it then he'll uh, he'll start thinking about moving in so that's cool and then we can make him a permanent structure but we're not going to do that today I think what we're going to do right now my friends is call it quits although hold on one quick thing before we do yeah, let's make some nails with the one tin bar it's going to give us eight nails and we can make our crate uh, oh we need palm wood planks right Dag nabbit. Yeah, we need to go chop down a palm tree. Um, where were the palm trees at? Palm trees are right here. Let's put a little symbol. How about, uh, apple? And we'll go get those. 
get those in the morning in the next episode so i think we're going to call it quits right here my friends uh once again this is dinkum going to be out on july 14th it is not out at the time of this recording but uh it, it's probably up by the time you're watching this and uh yeah check it out link down below in the description and with that my friends i'm gonna cook up all my bush limes here tonight and be ready to go in the morning and we'll head out and go chop down some palm trees and get some palm wood make up a crate and uh, we'll do some more exploring and adventuring here on punch wood isle so fun really really looking forward to this game hope you are too and we'll see you next time have a good day bye bye Hey, John, how we doing, buddy? You like cooked lime? Hey, grab one off the ground there. Help yourself. All right, I got plenty to go around. We're all friendly on this island, especially me. Yeah. Okay, bye. Have a nice night. Oh, wait. Here endeth year oneeth, Monday toeth, in the month of summereth. And I have gained some skill in various um, skills, like foraging, mining, and bug catching. And we made 11,534 dinks. Very, very good. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.